everybody, this is Jody with Topaz Labs. Today, I'll be showing you all about the brightness contrast adjustment in Topaz Studio. So the brightness contrast adjustment corrects image brightness, contrast, and saturation. You can make subtle changes and bold images too. You should use the brightness contrast adjustment to change the contrast in an image, and you can also use it to make artistic creations. We'll be doing a little bit of both today. I've prepared three different images to show you what all the brightness contrast adjustment can do. We're gonna make a subtle change, an extreme change, and we'll do a little bit of both in the third one with masking. In our first image, we have a rose, and I think we can make this image really powerful with just a few changes. I'll show you how to use the adjustment and what the sliders can do real quick before we get into anything a little bit more complicated. Let's go ahead and add the adjustment. Now, when you open the adjustment, you'll see that we have all the tools here that we normally do, presets, and three sliders right here. The brightness slider does exactly what it says. We can go this way to make the overall image brighter. And this slider is so versatile that it goes all the way up to pure white. If we reset the slider and we go the other way, our image will become darker and darker all the way until pure black. The contrast slider, which is the second slider, if we change it to go this way, you'll see how the image is affected, how black and how white the highlights get. If we go back the other way, we'll start to get softer and softer until we get to this point right here where the image is gray, and then it starts to inverse. This is a really fun effect, and you can make a lot of artistic images with this. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Right now, let's go ahead and reset our slider. The saturation slider will change the image color. We can have a very saturated image here, and if we go the other way, our image will start to desaturate until it turns black and white. And then once we cross that threshold, it inverses. So we can also make some really artistic creations with this slider as well. For this first image, I don't think we need to do anything too extreme. This image could just use a little bit of changes. Now, as you can see, we have our subject matter right here in the middle. We also have a background that's a little bit hard to see. It's dark, it's out of focus. We have leaves up here maybe a little bit of fence back here, but I think we can make this image really pretty. Let's go ahead and use the brightness slider to brighten things up a little bit. And we can see a change already. We'll use the contrast slider to make a change and you can immediately see how the background is affected So now it looks like we actually shot this rose maybe in like a studio on a black background with a main light. It's really pretty, but let's make it a little bit more saturated. There we go, perfect. So with just a few basic edits, we went from really simple, pretty image to something really powerful and beautiful. Now let's get into the fun stuff. For our second image, I have a very simple photo right here of five little flowers with only one in focus. We have a simple background, simple little vase, but with the brightness contrast adjustment, we can actually make this image really interesting. Let's go ahead and add the adjustment. And I think for this adjustment, what we'll do is we'll actually just use that inverse contrast here. Now, if we go over here to masking and we invert the mask, we're back to our original image. And what we can do is we can use the brush and here with mask density, we can make it lighter or darker, bigger or smaller. So we'll go about right here, might be a good size. And softness, we can make the edge of the mask softer or harsher. Perfect. So let's go ahead and use our brush mask. 
And now we have a really fun inverse color flower. We have this beautiful cobalt blue coming through instead of that mustard yellow. I think this is a fun way just to add something unexpected to a rather simple image. All right, there we go. So I think I'm all done with my brush masking. I'll just go ahead and commit here. And if we come over here and click, we can see the before and the after. So as you can see, making a change like this is actually really easy with this adjustment. Also, combining this adjustment with your masking option can make some really interesting effects. For our final image, we're going to combine what we learned in the first edit and the second edit to make something really interesting. Let's go ahead and open our image right here. And we'll add our brightness contrast adjustment. And the first thing we'll do is we'll actually focus on the butterfly, which is our main subject matter. Let's have a little bit of fun with this and we'll make the butterfly a little bit brighter. We'll update that contrast. And we'll go ahead and we'll do the saturation down to negative one to inverse the color. Now we have this really funky, fun butterfly, but the background is affected too. So let's go over here to masking. And what we'll do is we'll invert that mask. Actually, I didn't mean to change the brightness on the image. What we'll do is we'll undo. There we go, back to where we need to be. So let's go ahead and add the brush mask. Make sure our mask density is at white. And we'll go ahead and paint in our butterfly. Now we have this really fun blue butterfly. We'll go ahead and touch up our masking just a little bit. Perfect. So let's go ahead and commit our mask by clicking done. What we'll do now is we'll actually focus on the background. So let's turn off our layer and add another. So for the background, let's make it dramatic. And let's add some saturation. And what we'll do is we'll actually come up here to where we did our masking before on the butterfly. And we'll come to the menu. And we'll copy the mask. We'll come to our second brightness contrast adjustment and using the menu, we'll actually paste our mask. Now, there's one little trick and what we'll do is we'll actually open the mask and invert it and click done. Once we turn on our first adjustment, we'll see that we have this really cool image we have a very surreal and colorful butterfly that looks realistic, but also it looks really out of this world. And it's in this beautiful, colorful and contrasty background. So you can really see the differences that you can make in an image with this adjustment. You can make anything from something subtle to something fun to something questionably realistic. So don't be afraid to get in there and try some things on your own. Also, if you want to see how to do the butterfly tutorial word for word and step by step, check out the blog on web.topazlabs.com. We'll have a lot of tutorials coming up on our YouTube channel. Until next time, have a great day and happy editing.